like they're dead if they don't deal with the insects or kill us, I guess. Threefold Thunderhulk? Clap, 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 clap. Oh! 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 Amazing. 10 out of 10, no notes. Oh! Mwah! Oh, so good, though. Oh, we're tremendously dead. I love Threefold Thunder Hulk, though. I love me a gnome. If I'm going to die in one turn, <laughs> let it be to gnomes. Hi, I'm Symphoniers, and today we're taking a look at this list that, if I do my editing properly, you will understand why we're looking at this list. An opponent crushed me with it, and I was just like, I want to do my own spin on that. I want to do Enduring Courage plus Threefold Thunder Hulk memes, because it seems neat. The direction I ended up going with for it is a little bit different from what I saw from that opponent in that I wanted to focus on just pure artifacts ramp. So we are playing a ton of things onto that either smooth out our mana in the form of clay fired bricks fetching a planes, or they help us ramp directly in the form of Fabrication Foundry and the Iron Craig. Uh, from there, we have four drops. So we do really want some accelerants, um, but we have 4,000 Moonsmithy because the constructs, the uh, tokens that you get off of it are incredibly, incredibly good. Uh, we have Enduring Courage, I already mentioned, is the main haste enabler, and we have four Scampering Surveyors for additional ramp. In the five drop slot, we have the Might Stone and Weak Stone, which is nice in that it can flex between hard removal that can kill a shield rid or whatever, or being card advantage and drawing us some cards. Also, yeah, more ramp to help us get to our big expensive stuff. In the top end, we have two Chamils, uh, the Inner Suns. These are nice because they're just a rolling source of card advantage, and uh, everything lower than it in the deck is a valid hit. So rolling into a Mightstone and Weakstone, or a Thousand Moonsmithy, or whatever, is just very good. We also have four Nexus of Becomings, another source of card advantage that has a particular synergy with a threefold Thunder Hulk. So the Thunder Hulk is a 0-0, zero, zero, but the Nexus of Becoming makes the Thunder Hulk a 3-3, three, three, but it still gets the counters. So Nexus of Becoming actually gets us uh, more gnome tokens and stuff, and like helps the Thunder Hulk be bigger and more impactful. So that's kind of one of the reasons it's in the deck, and then aside from that it is just, yeah, again, more card advantage and stuff, big spicy artifact hit for the deck. And the Thunder Hulk itself, the primary or like kind of the main way we close out games, aside from the like construct tokens and stuff, and that's more or less the deck. If you like the deck tech and like the video, like, subscribe, etc. Always helps the channel a lot. If you want to support the channel even more, you can dig around in the description below and find links to my Patreon, my Twitch. Uh, you can buy cards through Card Trader using my link, and that helps the channel a lot too, and, and the code and stuff, and yeah. All that rambling out of the way, let's get on to some actual gameplay. I'm gonna mulligan, because no play until four... okay. Well, we're here now. Do-do-do-do-do. Inspiring Vantage. Sunfall, yay! Real fun enjoyer across the table. The sower versus domain. <laughs> Threefold Thunderhulk, doot, 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 doot. Overlord of the Hauntwoods, impending. Craig. We at least get up to four mana. Hmm. We've not seen an Enduring Courage in any of the games, I don't think, which is a Bit of an oof owie. Caretaker's talent for the opponent makes a copy of everywhere. Hmm. Hmm. We fabled passage for a plains. And we might stone weak stone draw two cards. Well, them some Thunder Hulks. Hmm. It's 
next is it becoming our best play? Enduring Courage? Urbrask's Forge, uh-huh. Are they playing Enduring Vitality and doing a storm kill? That... <laughs> hmm. I... That's a deck I tried to make work earlier in this season anyway. Nexus of Becoming. Do to do the uh, Clayfire Bricks? It's not exciting, but Clayfire Bricks might make sense. I mean, Threefold Thunder Hulk, though. We have so many of them. And they help us not die. Would you like to Sunfall opponent? Get lost on the Threefold Thunder Hulk. Clap, 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 yep. Pay no attention to uh, my feet knocking into trash. My office isn't a mess, you're a mess. Love to hit the rope every turn, or every game, or whatever. Overlords, okay. This stuff happens. Sure. Block the Overlord. Blocking the token doesn't do that much. Do Chamil here? Or no, sorry, we should Clayfire Bricks first. For a Plains. Play out the planes, do Chamil. Nexus of becoming another threefold Thunder Hulk into play. No attacks. Chamil rolls into a Thousand Moon Smithy, which is pretty good. We have a 1717 Gnome Soldier now, so that's nice. We are successfully doing some nonsense. Still have not hit our own Enduring Courage to make the Threefold Thunder Hulk scarier, but... Herd Migration's okay. This happens. Yep, yep, yep. We can block all of them. I guess we do, the trick here is that we do have to block all of them. Which means that we probably can't afford enough blockers to kill the Overlord of the Hauntwoods. Our opponent hitting the rope again. Oh wow, it got lost. Definitely something you needed to think about for a minute and a half. Sorry, I'm... <laughs> Yeah, we're... Uh, I would just like magic to be played efficiently. That is the thing which I would enjoy if it happened. Um, We'll take five and kill one of these. Herobrask's Forge... D reses, Thousand Moon Smithy. One, two, three, four, five. So that's good. Tap the Mightstone Weakstone, do this. Yes. We keep the untapped one and we minus five, minus five on the Overlord of the Haunt Woods. Then we cast another Thousand Moon Smithy, sure. As a treat. We do this, we... Uh, Nexus of becoming another Threefold Thunder Hulk and attack them for 21. They do have to block with the Enduring Courage. This all happens... I guess we clay fired bricks, because we can. Grab a planes. Play the planes. Jamil spins into a scampering surveyor. And we grab a mountain. Time for three minutes of roping and then a sunfall. No, we're actually going to combat. Okay. <sighs> Uh, 
a reasonable amount of playtime and then the sunfall. They level up the caretaker's talent. Defensive herd migration? Okay. We don't... The Barracks of the Thousand is legendary, and they are a very awkward thing to try and get. Like the mana. Floating the mana doesn't work without additional support. Clay Fired Bricks. Wait, no. Cancel. Help. I meant to click the map token. Chamil. Trying to get to the dog. Maybe we should just be flipping the bricks, actually, and attacking with everything. Uh... Sure. Cancel? That's a weirdly punishing thing, because we don't get additional... Uh, our board is too big and it's dumb. Cosmium Kiln, this stuff happens. We... Nexus of Becoming. A Scamp happens. Grabs us a land. We go Vroom Vroom. We are fine with this. Blah. Yeah, we can eat stuff to make sure that the Thunder Hulk survives. Done. Um. Okay. Oh, wait, it costs mana, right. Whoops. Okay. Oh well. We're here now. Um, we do this. An enduring courage finally after we lose all our thunder hulks. Woo! Time for it to get sunfall. <laughs> you know it's true. Um. Hmm. Overlord of the Haunt Woods. Calyx. Calyx Haste, rather. Herbast's Forge Ticks. The opponent swings in with a 9 3 Herbast's Forge token. We'll throw. I know we can afford to throw a fair amount of stuff under this. We'll say that this is fine. Take one if they don't have additional effects. It's not an enchanted creature, so it doesn't trigger off of Calyx. Or rather get Calyx's trigger. Enduring Courage flips back to the battlefield so we can at least protect it from a sunfall. Actually quite relevant here. Now we go to end step. Decline again. Elegant parlor. We should be okay. We we should be okay. Big emphasis on should. We will legend rule the thousand moon smithy and get another barracks of the thousands token. I don't know if they have, like, instant speed play or something, so we're going to be diligent in terms of, like, using all the resources we have. Tw haste 29, 27s are cool and good. Enduring Courage, Haste's in the Scampering Surveyor, we grab a planes. The board is in fact lethal. Good games to the opponent. I could be playing Deadlock right now. Yeah, I don't know, get me out. Ooh, 
we just like don't draw anything and Gix happens. Eh, uh, sure. How bad could it be? Elegant parlor, filter for, or surveil. We do jump up to a thousand to Moonsmithy off of the fabrication foundry. And then we'll be able to Mightstone and Weakstone the turn after. So that's neat. That's something. Hi, Gix. Please. We should do the scamp, given the... Now we should... Uh, it does die to cut down. Hmm. On one hand, it dies to cut down. On the other hand, it does ramp. Okay, either thing we play dies to Shieldred's Edict. So... This happens. Jagged Barons for the opponent. Play out a Montagna. Consider our life choices. Nexus of Becoming here is alright. We can Mightstone and Weakstone off of this and kill Gix. And I like that. I like killing Gix. Razor can needlehead be body but a high Gix. <sighs> Fable Passage, do some nominal deck thinning, slash have an untapped land. Do this. I guess we can just threefold Thunder Hulk here. It's nice to do it off of the Nexus though. Cause then it's big. Sure, I'll just legend rule this now. Get another 6-6 six, six or whatever to work with. Threefold Thunder Hulk. Gets into play. Razor can needlehead triggers once, but we have a bunch of gnomes. The Thousand Moon Smithy constructs are 13 13s, which is neat. Opponent is playing a sweeper in their creature deck because it's arena. Why not? Why not prolong the game aimlessly? Um. <laughs> so, Fabrication Foundry, prolong the game aimlessly versus an opponent with Graveyard Recursion. We... Oh, we want to do this in two steps, don't we? I mean, it's kind of here, neither here nor there. Uh, pay for, get the Thousand Moon Smithy. I'm going to lean towards the thing that makes more artifacts. Or the move that puts more artifacts into play. Nexus of Becoming Fires, we don't get anything off of it, unfortunately. D okay. We'll do this to appease Rakdos, I guess. We keep drawing lands. <sighs> Threefold Thunder Hulk, do 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 do. Do a smash. The opponent takes ten. And we end turn. Opponent hovering Rakdos. Hi, Shieldred. Fun Enjoyer has logged on. Would you like to hit us with Rakdos, opponent? Hmm... Resolve... 
decline, you can get some cards. Draw. Fabrication Foundry. Hmm. Letting them draw might have been a mistake. Doing a think. Flip. Eat some gnomes. As you do. This is bad if they have bitter triumph in particular. We keep drawing lands. We've drawn so many lands. <sighs> this uses last known information. Creature token, sure. We'll lose a 1-1 one -one gnome. They do need to block with something. They block with shieldred. That block finally happens. Gix. Uh. Okay. We're dead to Nexus of Becoming? Oh, no, we're not. Cool. We have single planes left in our deck. We can flip the clay-fired bricks, which is something, and we do a big attack, and the opponent explodes. Good games to the opponent. We will keep this hand. Fabrication Foundry can help us ramp up. And I like that. Nexus of Becoming, are you greedy? Probably. Like, we can't cast it off of this mana, so... Fabrication Foundry. Hmm. Oh, it's the Simic version of the Simic Crab Beans deck. Say its name. Okay. We do get a Nexus of Becoming anyway. Hmm. Grab a red source. Legion Extruder the face. Just get some artifacts down, because we do actually kind of care about an artifact count, at least in some cases. Hmm. One mana Talarian Terror. Okay. This is fine. Fabled Passage. Crack Fabled Passage. Grab a white source. Hmm, you don't do anything is the problem. Other artifacts with mana value X. Uh, just looking at if we could do a like reanimate a Nexus of Becoming. Decline. We are trying to give ourselves a draw step. Like, we can sack the chainsaw to the Legion Extruder. 
And that gives us a 3-3 three, three to block with. Flip. Hmm. Okay. Well. We're here now. We're gone now. Sure. We have a bunch of mana acceleration and some hits for that mana acceleration. So the hand seems pretty good to me. Swamp. Forsaken Miner for the opponent. We will play out a Fabrication Foundry. Maybe do the Thousand Moonsmithy just so we have a blocker. I guess we'll see what we have after Bat. I don't know if there is a super correct hit for them. They take Craig, your friend and mine, and a friend of the bats, apparently. Play out the other Inspiring Vantage, do the Thousand Moon Smithy, because it is our only legal play! Ba -ba -ba -ba. Love to progress the game state! Woo! Woo! More Skellingtons. Okay. Haven't gotten an opponent actually, like, really doing skeleton stuff in a minute. Let's might stone weak stone draw some cards. We could kill the bat, I don't think that's our best play right now. Scamp. Okay. None of their creatures can block, so we're effectively racing if we attack with this. Like we can stop the uh, Ah sure. Dealing four to them feels reasonable to me. We're both at 17 now. They do have some, like, initiative on damage, but then we can Thunder Hulk and make tokens to throw under the Slasher? Hmm. Yes, that is the thing that we will do. I don't hate... They probably trade off the Slasher here, I still don't hate doing this. Like, we have, I think, more inevitability than the Slasher. I don't know, either way, I think after they... Maybe they let stuff through... Oh, another slasher, okay. This stuff happens. Do we take two? <sighs> bum, bum, bum. No, I don't really want to give them a tutor. I think we just take two. Maybe that's wrong, yeah. One, two, three, four... Let's put ourselves down one mana with the Fabrication Foundry. Um, maybe I'm not supposed to do that either. I'm feeling very unconfident in my play all of a sudden. It's fine, or it's kind of whatever. Uh, we will eat a gnome. Eat another gnome. Attack with the 5-5 five, five Thunder Hulk, make five gnomes. They trade with the other slasher. We're very much relying on the idea that we have like a barracks of the thousands to work with and to help us retain value through doing these like not great trades. Gix. Great. <sighs> Gix might be my most hated card in standard. Um, at least sh in the sense that at least Shieldred is like a distinct design space, you could see how they got it wrong. Gix is just an insult to Toski to me. Anyway, uh, we decline this. Fabled Passage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do 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 Mon Montagna One two three do 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 Okay. So we do this, we pay seven. Do we have to manually tap this? We might have to manually tap this. Or we should we'll do this just to avoid awkwardness with the barracks of the thousands. Um, pay seven, threefold Thunder Hulk, 
eat the Mightstone Weakstone and the Why isn't it letting us select the Thousand Moon Smithy? Does it have to be ex uh, it has to be exactly seven? So we do this, I guess. Oh right, that's how that works. Uh, oh god. Sorry, I forgot how annoying Fabrication Foundry is. We pay eight. We target the Thunder Hulk. We do. We pay nine. We target the Thunder Hulk. The formatting on Fabrication Foundry sucks. I guess I get why it's the way it is with how artifacts have been traditionally, but I hate the the templating. Um. Anyway, this happens finally. Scamp. Uh, and we grab a mountain or whatever, and we... do we attack with stuff? I mean, they throw... yeah, sure, why not? They uh, throw Gix under the 15-15. End turn. That... <laughs> If we win here, this deck probably makes it into a video, because it's had an okay win rate. I don't like them having the tutor. Um, hopefully it's fine. It's probably a... Ooh, Corpses of the Lost. Okay. Sure. But yeah, me awkwardly fumbling my way through the Fabrication Foundry thing is probably a good thing to have in a video, just because... Uh, it's the type of thing that I think is easy to mistake for a bug. This is fine. This is a very... Yeah, we only get hit by the bat. This is okay. I'm not doing a big punt. Um, corpses happens. And they explode! Woo! ba 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 So I guess this will be a video. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, good games to that opponent. Thank you for watching buttons and things. Yay. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye Thank you for watching the video, and an extra big thank you to the Patreon patrons and YouTube members that help make these videos possible. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye <laughs>